Okay, time for a ribbon tutorial. The greatest thing about ribbon, you can get a whole lot of this for not too much of this, which when you're married to a guy like Frank, that's important. All right, let's do some ribbon. So I'm gonna cut them about that long. It's probably 20 inches, 24 maybe. I'm gonna start below this one. Take the tree limb, wrap it around, fan it out, bunch it, push it back, take another tree limb, wrap it around, bunch it, continuing down throughout this piece of ribbon, kind of maneuvering it, zigzagging it all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna find a place in here that works and start with another piece. Just kind of fold this piece up so it covers that and then kind of wrap it back so it makes a little loop and then use a limb to secure it. And then you can come back and poof it up just do that as you work down the ribbon. And I'm gonna kind of go diagonal. So I'm gonna tack it over here. Fold it up underneath. So I can hide the fold a little bit. And I kind of grab a little bit too much and then pull it back. And when you get to the end, you can leave it out or you can tuck that one back in. Just depending upon, make it random, make it look like free. Right. Once you have the tree decorated and you've put some ornaments in, you might look and decide that maybe you want to put some more fabric in or some ribbon, whichever you use. So maneuver that ribbon in. If you have to move the ornaments and then replace them, then you get things exactly where you want them and it gives you the overall look of what you're going to want in that tree. Which I don't really know. I mean, I'm just doing whatever and then just trying to sound really smart about it. But come on, y'all know I'm just faking it. So if you have this little part right here, you can just kind of fan it down a little bit, which helps to cover the tie. Then you'll just pan back out, look at the tree and figure, okay. Look at the tree and think, okay, we need something over here. So let's do one there. This one I'm gonna tie back inside so you don't see the end. So I can make the loop here much bigger. Whoops. Go back and tie that one. Sometimes you can just set them in there, but this one not so much. And then you'll double it up. Maybe gather it about there so that you can poof it a little bit so that it these are all very technical terms, doubling up, poofing. These are all terms professional tree stylers use. Not that I am a professional tree styler, but I want to make everybody believe that I am, so I am today. So then finally, as I look, I think the other place that I'd like to see some of this would be up here at the top. and Maybe some loops come in like this. So I'm going to take this cute little bird and push him forward. Fan this piece out. Pull 
pull this piece back and start working the ribbon down. Take my cute little bird from back. tilt that this way towards the front of the tree. So now I've just turned that piece a little bit more towards us. Now when I pan out and look down, it looks pretty consistent. So that's it. It's that simple. Now you look like you have a designer tree. Looks like you spent a million dollars, but you hardly spent any.